taking a closer look now at the study on uh, the impact bigger ships are having on Tybee Island. The Army Corps of Engineers report says that their wake is putting beachgoers and boaters in possible danger. WSAB's Brian Gallagher is joining us live from the island with more on the study and the possible solutions. Hey, Ben and Tina, these dangerous waves are caused by bigger ships, usually going at a speed over 12 knots, posing a threat to the shores of Tybee Island and all that go there. The findings of an Army Corps of Engineers study was recently presented to Tybee Island City Council. They asked for the study, which monitored ship traffic and wake size. The purpose was to determine its impact on the island's northern shore. Engineers use sensors mounted on Coast Guard ships below water and near the shore to collect data. Larger ships are coming through, um, which is really exciting, uh, but they're causing a wake, and the wake is making its way around the current uh, barrier in the water that should control the wakes, and it's coming to the North Shore. West acknowledges that beachgoers often avoid wake warnings. And I believe there are signs up that say dangerous wake, and uh, but people are like, yeah, right, you know. I mean, people have literally been washed, you know, their stuff has been washed away, you know, from, from the beach. But it can get a whole lot more serious than just losing a towel or sandals. Washed off the beach and, you know, from the wake and, and struggled to get back to land. So uh, it is a concern really all up and down the river channel. The corpse recommended several possible solutions, including reducing ship speed and refurbishing and extending jetties. One is to create, uh, you know, smaller jetties in the water closer to the closer to the shore so that the, you know, the waves break up before they get to the shore. Um, hopefully we can work with the ports and find a solution. The cost of the study was $350,000. The city and corps of engineers split the cost and there was no cost to taxpayers. Tybee's share was paid through the Georgia Community Fairs grant. Live on Tybee, Brian Gallagher, WSAV News 3, on your side.